Hey there, what's up and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Looks like we have a wonderful spawn. I haven't looked at all, I haven't moved from this little location right here, but we are here with a village. This is awesome. Uh, so what we're doing is a little bit of hardcore Minecraft and a couple reasons why we're doing it one I've never done it before thought it'd be fun to do and two I kind of want to get the early game grind on is that a witch hut? Oh my gosh There's a witch hut too with a resident witch wonderful But I wanted to get into a little bit of hardcore Minecraft because I have never played hardcore Minecraft, and I've also been really wanting to try out the early game grind again. Man, this is a really cool spawn. I like this spawn a lot, actually. Um, I have never played it, and I've been wanting to do the early game grind again because Bruin build has been going on for going on three years, which is wicked. Also, is my render distance far? No, not at all. Maybe I'm just recording at a higher resolution. Oh, yes, I forgot. Now, I'm gonna just wander around, try and gather some things from this uh, village and uh, just chat with you a little bit. Oh, bud, that is a really nice find. And let's go ahead, take this. So I'm just gonna wander around this village, try and find some stuff and figured I would chat at you, nothing in there, um, about why we're doing this a little bit more because, you know, there's, man, this place has everything. I could make potions. Not that I'll ever use potions, but. Um, so there's a couple reasons why. As I said before, I am, I was gonna jump off there, but I figured hardcore probably shouldn't risk it. Um, I honestly, we've been playing in Bruinbuild for quite some time. And to answer any, quell any questions about this taking over Bruinbuild, no, this is not gonna take over Bruinbuild or anything like that. I just need a little bit of a, of a sort of break, even as we're playing it. Ooh, more bread, yummy, and apples. Man, we're good on food for at least a teeny little bit. Um, and I just need a little bit of a break from the super late game massive project grind. I'm also gonna take this, that's mine. Don't touch me. Okay. Um, and so I figured this would be a great way. I'm actually gonna take these too. This is wheat, more bread. I just need a bit of a break from the late game grind. It's uh, starting to, this past week has really shown me that it's really starting to kind of eat at me. Uh, just the, I don't know, it's, uh, we're doing huge projects, which I, I'm really, really invested in and want to do well. But I have tried for the past two weeks to make a singular build co like come to life and just has not been working at all. And that's a four tall on a path block. That is unique and we will keep it right there. You're staying right there. This we're going to build a temple around this guy. And so I've just been I've been struggling, essentially. That's like the the main thing is I've been struggling to get any sort of motivation to continue with building there. What did I just pick up? That's oh, they had the golden nugget into it. So I've, been, I've just been struggling uh, a bit because the build just hasn't come together and uh, it's just been such a pain. I'm going to take you as well for decoration purposes. And so, yeah, that's why we're doing this. We're doing this because it's just a little bit of a break. Now, for any of you who haven't played hardcore Minecraft and don't know the, the synopsis of it, uh, basically what I know is you can't die. Meaning you can die, and if you do die, you lose this world entirely. Um, and so let's not do that. Let's not die, and let's try and last. Man, that's a lot of taters. Man, we are we're good on taters. We're good on food for a little bit. Uh, I think for the first night, maybe we just stick around here and maybe do something in one of these houses. I don't really know what, but I think this is a great place. Maybe we build, do a little bit of a village transformation or something. We could do something like that. I don't know. Now, first things first, we need to pick a spot to be building our house. And I'm thinking maybe we go up there onto that mountain where the path block kind of goes, but oh boy, I forgot how slow you are in water without boots. Oh my gosh. I 
Oh, and I should probably not. Well, we have food. I was going to say probably shouldn't run since we have limited food, but, you know, we've already got a good amount of taters. And honestly, I'm pretty sure every, I've seen every single livestock type of animal in this area. This is a really good spawn, if I do say so myself. Now, the focus of this series is going to be... I mean, essentially, I just want to survive. I just want to survive and potentially thrive if we can. Um, going to be playing it similar to how we do in Bruinville, uh, being a little bit more build focused, but I would like to take the building aspect a little bit slower and a little bit smaller than what we normally do in Bruinville. Like, I mean, in Bruinville, we're doing massive, massive builds, and I absolutely love them, and I think they're going to be really cool when they're done. But I think this is going to be a great escape for, get out of my way. I think this is going to be a great escape for us to be able to build on a smaller scale and make a little bit more almost, I guess, intimate type of spaces, like smaller houses. Maybe we'll come up with like a build how, like style in a sense. Like um, if you ever have watched Andy Yoda on YouTube, he's got a what five by five, I think, system where he builds everything in a five by five type of grid system. And I think that could be a really cool thing to try and like try out here. Um, or maybe we come up with our own type of thing similar to that. I don't know. I think that could be really cool. Um, and so I, I just want to experiment in the building department for this. I don't think we necessarily need to go huge because I mean, the taller we go, the more likely we're going to die. And uh, we don't want that. So I think we're going to keep it small and just kind of see where it goes from there. First things first, we've got a couple trees here in our way. So we're going to go ahead and chop them down. But I don't, I, this is a small little area to work in for a house, but I think we can do it. I think we can come up with something, maybe a little terraforming that's going to need to be done. But I think it's going to be easily doable. Now, first thing that I do want to do once we get these trees cleared is I would love to get some better tools. I think that is the only thing about starting off in Minecraft that is a wee bit annoying is not having great tools. But that is also some of the fun of the beginning of the game where everything is a grind, but it's a good type of grind. Nowadays, the grind that I'm doing in Bruin Build is more I need to place a billion blocks and don't have a billion blocks to place. So this is actually quite a nice difference. Now. I think I'm just going to toss this stuff in there. Uh, we'll go with this. Let's make a shovel. Well, let's make a sword for one, and then let's also make a shovel. I think that'd be good. Um, and then we'll get some dirt. And I think what we could do is I'm thinking maybe we just like span this out a little bit here. Um, or uh, do we want to build up here? Or do we want to just like build right there? Hmm. Let me do a little exploring and maybe try and find a little bit of a different area potentially to work in. We may work in here, we may work over here, or we may work over here. I wanna stay centralized around this because I think this is kind of a cool little area to be in and we could do a village transformation later on. Could be fun. Um, maybe we'll come back and build something here, but let me do a little exploring and I'll be back with you. All right, I've done some exploring and I do think we are gonna stick right around uh, the village area as I had said before. Um, thinking about doing that just cause, I don't know, I have never, I don't think I've ever done a village transformation. Uh, we need to get up there. Um, never done a village transformation. Think that could be kind of fun and it's, it's laid out actually pretty decently. So I don't think we're going to start off up here. I think this is going to be maybe a tower later on. Um, let's move this over here. Cause it kind of irks me that we're on the edge, maybe, not irks, but like sketches me out. Um, so I'm thinking right in front of us, there is that open plains area. And I think that is a wondrous starting spot because I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to maybe make some make our house like right here or over here and what we'll eventually do is kind of just connect up and go through and revamp all of this and try and utilize the base structure for inspiration as to what we're going to be doing now of course some of them are repeats so we'll have to change them up just a little bit to make them you know a little less 
repeaty, um, but there's also some weirdness happening right there. You can see this river comes through and gets blocked off by this village, and I think that whole area is gonna go and become a bridge across because this needs to connect up and that's a bit of a feat. So we may be getting ahead of ourselves here, um, but I want to go ahead and get some tools in order because we need to do some mining to replace these bad tools that we've got. And I honestly, I don't really want to rush the tool progression too much uh, because of the fact that, oh yes, and we still have enough for that. Nice, nice, maybe we'll make two. And there we go. We are pretty good now. Let's go ahead and move on down to where our house is. And I'm gonna use up these wooden tools so they break. Gotta be efficient. No, no. I was gonna jump off there and try and make it in the water, but that would be a death wish. Now I'm thinking right up here could make a nice spot for our starting house. Now I'm envisioning this uh, way later on as being kind of wooded. So we'll have to do definitely do some either custom trees or semi custom, like naturally grown ones. Um, but I'm thinking this is a good spot. We'll put our house right up here. And then what we can do is just kind of start filling it out. And uh, eventually we'll be able to kind of lead off and you know, hmm, here or there, I think here, I think this will work. We'll go ahead and start laying it out. Let me go ahead and uh, I need to go and get some stone and stuff just to start it out. Um, and then I may try and wander around and try and find some spruce if possible. Don't know if there's any, uh, I've only seen swamp and not really explored much further. So if I can find some spruce, great. If not, well, it looks like we're building with oak. So I've been mining just a little bit and mainly am mining to get up some of the stones and there's actually a good amount of like andesite up there and there's some diorite patches and granite. And so actually it was mainly getting building resources to be able to build our house with. And uh, I came down here, didn't go too far and boom, diamonds. Now this is, it is at least four blocks. Is it the full Oh, it is looking like it is indeed the full eight. Oh, and some redstone. Not that we'll use that. Um, wow. All right. So we're going to just leave this here, this excavated site right here. Going to leave it uh, because, one, we're still in Stone Age. And I don't necessarily, for a pickaxe, maybe I'll do this, but I'll go ahead and upgrade. But not going to, like, upgrade too much too early. I know that probably seems a little bit insane, but I am enjoying having some grindiness. Like I've already gone through like five pickaxes and I, that's just something I'm not used to. <laughs> and so I'm just having a good time taking it slow. So we're gonna, I'm gonna definitely upgrade the iron, that's for sure. Uh, but then I may hold off on this and kind of make this a goal to get like an enchanting station up first. So then we can have like a super good pick uh, out of the gate whenever we actually can do that. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on mining and getting some resources, and then I still need to go and find some spruce wood if possible. I'm not gonna wander too far for it, so we may just be sticking there some more iron, always need that. Uh, but maybe sticking with oak for the build, don't know. Could be a good way to test the building skills by just sticking to one wood color. I don't know, we'll give it a whirl, but let me go ahead, get back into the mining and I'll be back with you. Alrighty, so I think I have enough stuff uh, to get started here, got a good amount of cobble and all that stuff. And then I did actually find some spruce. There was the tiniest spruce patch over that way. So I've been able to bring back some saplings from those trees. There were probably maybe 12 trees total over there, uh, which honestly, it, it really truly was like the smallest patch of spruce I've ever seen in my life. Um, no other patches over there. And so didn't have to wander actually really that far. Um, so we were able to get actually more spruce than oak because I was lazy and uh, I like spruce more anyways. Um, but I think we are gonna go with this oak roof style. Um, but I think what's gonna happen is we may trim it in spruce. I think that may be a good thing. Then we can use spruce throughout the body. Now what I've done here, oh, and also 
we have a good set of iron armor. Figured armor was more important in a hardcore than uh, actually going with the tools and we'll get iron obviously to replace this. I've already gone through a few pickaxes of iron anyways, um, but not that worrisome right now. Now, what I would like to do is I'd like to get to building. So what we've got here is just a, a small mock-up of what we are going to be working with. Um, and it's not that big of a house. It's only going to be around a two story, I think. And, uh, then this little section over here is going to be like a small one story bit that kind of juts up against the side. Um, and so the main focus is going to be right here. And so I'm excited. I'm going to try and emulate this. So we're going to be using a lot of cobblestone and we're going to be using a lot of oak wood and maybe we'll go tear down one of those houses to gather up some terracotta. Uh, but we may not have to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and build this out. I think what we're going to do is go with four uh, tall. I think that's going to be good. Four tall, and then we'll have a small portion up top. And the only two-story portion is going to be right here uh, where I'm putting all of these. And then we will be able to go from there and kind of work this in. And overall, it's going to look a little bit kind of turrety. Um, but I think we're going to be able to match this style fairly effectively. So let me go ahead and get a little bit of work done and I'll bring you back in uh, to do some of the detail work. All right, so some work has been done. I've done some laying out and just general building of the structure and uh, it's looking good so far. So let me take you through what we've been doing so far. Trying to match the style to the general Minecraft village with just using cobblestone and stuff. We are gonna go through and add some texture variation at the end. Um, but for right now, just sticking to the plain old cobblestone. I think it's looking good. This is pretty new. So what this is gonna be is a porch that wraps up. Uh, I actually don't think the entrance is gonna be here. I'm thinking the entrance is gonna be over here, like right at this level. If I could break the cobblestone, there we go. So the entrance is gonna be here. We'll have a little bit of a turret to a bedroom right there. And then we'll have our various different sections here, maybe crafting, storage, kitchen, I don't know. Um, and I think it's gonna be good. So yeah, this is gonna be a porch and you can see already we've got some trap doors and stuff going on. Um, did a little bit of the laying out just so that I knew what was going on. Um, eventually, I think what I'd like is for this pathway to kind of wind this way and then swing around and come back up. And then there'll be a staircase that goes from, I think, this level or maybe even this level down. Uh, I think maybe we section this off and make it on a little bit of a hill cliff thing. Uh, could be cool so that you have some stairs to get up into the uh, porch area, which will be right at this level. Um, and then all of this will be hidden so you, it'll look like it's supported. Uh, and we'll have a nice view of this river area and we can maybe do some natural stuff over here to get rid of the whole plains look. Now with this roof, what we wanna do is we want to try and simulate this or emulate uh, the roof style of the this village so that it doesn't, uh, this doesn't like seem super crazy. Like it's obviously a much more advanced build than all of those. Um, but I want it to feel pretty standard Minecraft normal type of feel. Um, if you saw this in the real world, you would think that's a little, little detailed for Minecraft, but nothing too crazy. That's kind of the goal that we're going for, at least what I'm going for. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding in a roof that is going to be very, very simple. I don't think I've, I've actually done a roof this simple. Um, in quite some time. So what we want to do is this, and then let's throw in a slab instead, and then we'll do a slab right there. Um, one thing that I am changing about this build style over here that is that a lot of the houses actually go, well, actually, some of these go up and go to just full blocks and stop. That I don't necessarily want. We're gonna put a slab on top just to kind of round it out, make it look a little different. And then we're gonna use oak to add just a tiny amount of visual flair with a different color palette going on instead of just having oak all the way. Um, but we are gonna definitely use spruce for all of this trim work just to add some detail. 
Um, and then all of this is gonna remain spruce and this will make this area here pop a lot. So let me go ahead and get this area, this roof worked out. I'll get all of the blocks in and then we'll come back and we will sort of start finishing off the exterior, uh, adding some detail bits. And then I think, honestly, that should probably do it. All right, some work has been done, starting to come together, I think. I, I'm, I'm really actually liking what it's looking like. We're trying out some diorite with some birch. I know, <laughs> I know, a little bit painful on the eyeballs, but I do think that it actually is working pretty effectively. Um, so the idea is the top floors are made out of this white material. Maybe it's a stucco or something, a little bit different. Um, this is essentially kind of a replacement for the terracotta since we can't get ample supplies of that right now. Um, so going with a little bit of a different style, but I think overall it's okay. Roof style is in place. Now you can see kind of just the generic wooden roof with a little bit of a spruce outline. We've got the porch in, and now we're gonna be working on the walls, detailing the walls. Now, what I would like to do essentially is just go through and add in this mixture. Now, I tend to enjoy throwing in some stone and andesite into cobblestone walls, into like these cobblestone walls, um, because they go really well together um, and they just add a touch of variation to the texture. So it's not all just this big stony mess. Um, and God, this guy has been hanging around for so long and I am, I'm tired of it. I've also been had two sets of raiders come through and man alive, they are more, way more difficult to deal with when you are not in like diamond armor. They are a pain. As you can see, Bill over there is having a rough go of it, but he's alive. Maybe if we find more iron and uh, ample supplies of iron, we can work it out that he gets a little bit of love. Now, what I would like to do here is add actually some window here. And I think that's gonna be a nice addition. Uh, I don't have any glass, so a little awkward there. Maybe what we do is we make this into a doorway, right like that. And then we can have like a side entrance as well. This does not need to be there. I essentially was using this. This is a stairwell um, that it goes all the way up. Uh, actually, it lies. It doesn't go all the way up. It goes up to here. And then what I may do is put a trap door right here to be able to walk here and get onto like a little platform area right here because there is a window right there. I think that could be a, a unique use of space. Um, make it so we have as much room in here as possible. Um, but back to the walls. And you can see even with just that, this tiny section done, adding in the texture variation adds so much more to the build. Like it's just, it's a billion times better, honestly. Now, what I do need to do is I need to, one, harvest these crops, and two, get some mossy cobblestone, which means we need shears to go over there to get some vines. But that's going to have to be next episode because <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to just finish this out, the main exterior, and then we'll figure out some of that more detailed based stuff in the next episode. So let me go ahead, finish out this wall stuff, and then we'll come back in, do some very final detail bits. And then I think that we'll have to do it, I think, for the first episode. Uh, so let me go ahead and get into this wall texturation stuff, and I'll be back. All right, final detail bits. We are gonna be putting in the guardrail here, and don't want to be falling into the uh, down there, whatever that is, river. Don't look at that view. That's nice. Blocks out all the dirt down there. And uh, honestly, I may pull that soil back just a little bit, expand this just a hair. But boom, there's that looking pristine and wonderful. And let's go ahead, throw some windows in. I think we have a nice too tall window. Oh, we have connected textures on. Huh, didn't know that. Uh, throw some windows in right there, 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 and I believe I have one there. Yes, indeed. Um, and then we will go ahead and get some doors going and let's break this so it stops looking ugly 
And let's grab some spruce. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we are. Doors acquired. Let's go ahead, plop them down right there. Looking fine. And right here, boom and boom. Bada bing, bada boom. House is complete on the exterior, except for maybe some smaller details that will work out. And then I will figure out some of the interior later. Um, currently, I think I am running out of time. I think some of the stuff I'm gonna do off camera is just minor detail bits, just adding some fun uh, to it, just to add, I don't know, a little bit of flair, a little more flair, but so far I like how it looks. It's very simplistic and I think it looks very, it's nice. It's nice compared to the stuff we're doing in Bruin Build, that's for sure. This is going back to like my roots of Minecraft, working in just very small, styles and i i really like it i think it's going to be good now i do think i'm going to put some woodworking stuff here so maybe a doorway right here could work there's going to be some problems though because of this area here we can figure that out maybe we just do a ladder system that goes all the way up i think honestly that's fine it is minecraft so why not let's go ahead and do that because i think that actually that can be grass we don't need it to be anything else and so we'll just go ahead do that do that and then we will put a stair right there but i think that is gonna have to do it for this episode guys i hope you have enjoyed and uh, look forward to the next episode i don't know what the schedule is going to be it's still working out the details of that but hopefully by the time this releases i'll have a better idea uh, currently thinking I may alternate this and Bruin build every other week, but I may also try and do just a more episodes per week type of dealio. Not, not really sure. I'm trying to get onto a schedule with my recording, so we'll, we'll see how, how well that goes. But thanks guys for watching. If you did like and are new here, feel free to subscribe and join our little family we've got going here. Oh boy, I haven't said that in a long time. Of course, leave a like if you did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye